This is Newton's cannon. Isaac Newton asked, what would happen if you placed a cannon on top of a super tall mountain, uh, so tall that it actually extended above the atmosphere, and fired a cannonball? He thought of this as a way to explain uh, the orbits of the planets. So basically, why does something orbit a planet instead of falling towards it? So the idea with the cannon is that if you shoot a cannonball, so I'll shoot a slow cannonball here. If you shoot a slow cannonball, it kind of travels across the land. Uh, eventually, it loses enough height that it hits the ground and stops. You know, that's pretty straightforward. But what if you keep firing it faster and faster? So, if I shoot it faster again, you'll notice it'll go further and further. And you can kind of imagine if instead of a round earth, if we were doing this on like a flat earth, which is kind of what we would be used to, and when you shoot a cannon on earth, you know, you can't see it go over the horizon or anything like that. For most purposes, the earth is pretty flat when you're standing on the surface. But this is a very zoomed out view and a very powerful cannon. So if I fire um, another even faster cannonball, You'll notice it goes further and further and further. And eventually it hits the ground. Now, what if I fire a cannonball so fast that it completes a circle around the planet? What would happen when it reaches its starting point? What happens is you get an orbit. Because the cannonball is returning to its starting position with the same height and the same speed, it's basically the same thing as if you were just firing it out of the cannon again. So it'll just keep going and going like this forever. The key to maintaining an orbit is speed. Um, basically going sideways relative to the ground. Um, you're still falling, you know, the, the planet is still pulling the cannonball in, it's just that the cannonball is going fast uh, sideways so that it basically misses the ground. And it's just in this endless cycle of falling but moving fast enough sideways that it never actually hits the ground. And that's basically what an orbit is. And just to show what that means in terms of a rocket, um, basically going straight up isn't enough. If you, that'll get you to space, but if you want to stay in space, you need to put yourself into an orbit, which means at some point you need to start turning over and you need to start building up sideways velocity. And this is how pretty much everything that we put into space stays there, is by not by just going up, but by also going sideways. If you would like to see more content like this, be sure to like this video and subscribe. Thanks for watching.